Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel project series. My name is Anil and in this 8th video tutorial we will see that how we can edit a restaurant entry. So uh, in the last videos we see that how we can make the list, how we can add the restaurant and uh, much more things that how we can just delete the entries and all but this is might be possible that you just uh, make you just want to update some address or name or email address, address of your restaurant then how we can do it alright so this is uh, the video in this video we will see that how we can just uh, uh, add here edit out uh, edit icon how we can make the form for uh, the edit and how we can refill these values so that we can just before the changing the value we can see that what we want to change here all right so these are the steps of the video so first of all we will add the edit, edit icon then we will make the route for edit then we will make a controller function for edit make the edit page and after that in the edit form we will fetch the data from the database also so now let's get start so first of all i will just go on a list.blade.php here you can see that we already have a icon for delete all right so let's make add one more icon for edit with the place of uh, trash just put here edit now you can see that we have a uh, two icon one for delete another one for edit Alright, so uh, now after adding this icon, we must have to change this ad address also. But for that, we must have a route. Alright, so now let's make a new route. For making the route, we have to go on a web.php. Let's make a new route for edit, and this is pretty similar to the edit. We can just make edit here, and uh, we have to make a edit function inside the controller also. So now let's jump on the restaurant controller and let's make a function function edit and let's pass a very parameter with a dollar id and here we can just simply return here restaurant colon find the behalf of id all right and we will for a moment uh, let me check what's wrong with it yeah we have to add the brackets also right so yeah we have to put the capital R here so first we will see that the JSON format which is fetching from the database then we will see that how we can pass this data to the form also but before that we have to change the edit path also so now let's check the path what we are putting it here now you can see that path is fine edit and this is otherwise other for delete so if I'm just going to click on uh, ohm suites then you can see that we get the data from the ohm suite so if I just put on pizza hut it will be just show me the data for pizza hut that's fine so now let's see that uh, how we can make a edit form for see edit form is very similar to the add form so I can just copy it let's make a new route a uh, new view page edit dot plate dot php and let's put here and here we can just make some small changes uh, 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 uh. alright so we just need to put here like h1 tag like edit restaurant So let's remake the spell. Right. So whenever okay, so after adding this form, we have to just use it inside the controller also. So just uh, uh, make a variable with a dollar data, and now return here. Return view and view name is edit perfect so now let's see whenever i'm just going to click on a uh, edit icon i'm able to fetch the edit route perfectly and this is the form also but how we can populate the data or fetch the data inside this fields also right so for that we have to just pass this data to the view so just right here data and we can use dollar data like this 
so now after using this let's go on a edit button and uh, let's make a white screen put a value and in the value we can just simply use dollar data and name all right so, and we have to use it curly uh, quotes also here so let's see are we able to fetch the data yep home sweet see is here so let's put the email address as well as the address also so just change it with the address and change it with the email also all right so now you can see that we are easily able to fetch the data in the field also so let's try with the pizza hut the data is correct here so in the upcoming video we will see that how we can edit and update in the database also so don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care